Love Island USA season two, episode 25. Where? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's up, y'all? It's Jay Shanice. Anyways, where the hell is Noah? Don't y'all tell me that CBS done kicked this boy off for having a porn. I don't give a damn if it was a gay porn or a straight porn. He got to do what he got to do. He got bills. He got a life. And he grown. What does that have to do with us? Okay? Where Noah? I want to see the drama pop off. Sally telling Johnny that Noah told. And him confronting Noah. You know, I want to see all that. I want to see that smoke. I'm upset. I was looking. Where Noah? I'm looking at all the guys. Where the hell is Noah? I had to put my guys on. I had to pull them down. Where is Noah? They playing with us. They is playing with us. And you know what else they playing with us with? Not showing Justine and Kayla. Justine and Kayla be all cute in the bed. She be smiling at him. He be like, I miss you. Like she came from brunch. And only time y'all show Justine and goddamn Kayla is when they giving advice to other people. And y'all want to show them at the end of the episode coupling. You know we didn't want to see them couple. We already knew they was going to choose each other. Ooh. Oh. And Justine was looking cute as usual. You know what I'm saying? I'm just tired of them not showing our girl, okay? And Kayla. Like, anyways, this whole episode was really about Sally and Johnny, okay? Sally... I don't even know what to say. I'm on the fence. I don't know what she gonna do, y'all. I don't know what she gonna do. Okay. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. She was letting him know, like, um, first of all, you lied. Why'd you get under the covers? All he kept saying is, I'm honest. I was honest. It's my fault. She's like, all you gonna do is ask me to trust you again. And, of course, she told him that she's at a crossroads. She doesn't know what she wants to do. So, he got up and stomped away, walked away with an attitude Telling Caleb and them, no, it was Carrington. I was honest with her, wooty woo, and they are agreeing. All the guys are agreeing. He was not honest with her. He was not. Okay, so she goes and talks to Benny, and he and apologizes, and he let her know like you you didn't do nothing wrong. You good. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what else did Benny say? He said he was telling her allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to feel. And I'm like, yes, Benny. Yes. I like Benny. I really do. Johnny acted like he was going to not sleep in that bed, but he got his raggedy ass in that bed while he trying to front. And when she was in the bed with the sunglasses on and he tried to come talk to her and she just like covered her head up and went back to sleep, I'm just like, oh my goodness. But when they was at brunch, when they was at brunch, let me get my notes. Sally said she's happy that she doesn't have to hear the stomping around the villa and she feels like she found her voice. I don't know what that means at all, okay? Because her and Johnny was holding hands and she was like, I have to understand that you're 22 years old. 22? I forgot that fast that he was that young. It explains everything. Let that boy be 22. Don't be trying to lock him down just like the other girls found out on TikTok. He ain't ready. Did I tell y'all once I dated a 24-year-old when I was 30 years old? Well, I had just, I was 29 and turned 30 while I was messing with him. Y'all, it ended up, he was lying like Johnny. Remind me, just like Johnny. Abs, all that, okay? I don't even know what I was doing with him. He was lying, y'all. And I ended up, this is how it ended up. I slapped him in front of his daddy. That's how it ended up, y'all. I slapped him so hard, my wrist was hurting for at least a week. And he said he had a headache for like three days. D Sally, don't do it because you're going to end up putting your hands on them on accident. I'm not even a violent person. My mama taught me better. But whoo, he brought it out of me. I said, now I done had a goddamn nap. Okay? Anyways, um, Sally said she's not okay. She's trying to understand him. She went and talked to Benny and she enjoyed the day. And he told her he going to keep it 1,000 with her. And she was like, Benny is outstanding. She is feeling Benny. I don't care what none of y'all say. She's feeling Benny, but she might choose Johnny. But uh, she'll mess around and catch a case messing with a Johnny. Okay, y'all know I told y'all about me giving my whack to Johnny's. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Carrington and Laurel. Uh, Carrington might be losing his girl. 
He didn't know what color her eyes was. He didn't know how many siblings, her favorite color. He didn't know nothing, okay? And uh, Maura was being a little messy, telling Laura, what did you think about the tweet? Maybe you should get to know Calvin, okay? Here go Kirsten, too. You gonna get to know Calvin? Girl, leave Carrington alone. Kirsten still liking some Carrington. I don't care what nobody say, okay? And she went to go talk to Calvin. She said they had a better connection. And that she feels like her and um, Carrington is just on surface level. And them tweets got to her. And she feels like she connects with Calvin more. And she wants to experience Love Island. She hasn't got to know anybody. And Calvin was really her first pick. So I don't know what's going to happen at the recoupling with that. I don't know if she's going to choose Carrington or Calvin. And did y'all notice Carrington was taking a shower by himself? Look at him becoming a big boy and not wanting a hand job in the shower. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm so proud of him. Connor and Maura. Why Connor done told this girl he want to just be friends? You know it's a recoupling. And if you knew you wanted to stay, why would you tell her that? It's a game. Play the game. What the heck? Okay. So, um... He said that he still wants to be with Mackenzie. Basically, he thought him and Mackenzie was going to be together the whole time, and he would have gave Mackenzie a second chance. Then why did you not pick her? Poor Moore was over there crying. And let me tell you, Mackenzie waiting on you. I watched the interview, and Mackenzie was like, yeah, I, would want, I want him to come out single. Um, I want his phone number. He said, he said, you... Connor, you done told that girl you loved her twice before she left and that you want to see her on the outside? Well, she waiting on you, okay? She is waiting on you. Do I think it's a good idea? Hell no, because y'all is not good, okay? Uh, y'all could be friends, but together in a couple? No. But you're going to try it anyway and try to make fetch happen. Do what you do. She waiting for you. She said so, okay? So... Connor was like, you're my best friend. You and Mackenzie need to make up. Who is y'all best friend? Because Mackenzie said you was her best friend. Who? Y'all all best friends. F it. It's a three-way. I don't know. Okay, so Moore said her decision's up in the air. Because here come Calvin trying to talk to her too. And my thing is, Moore, choose who's going to save you the next round. And I would bet Connor would save you. Calvin is not going to save you. You and Connor can make the decision right now to friendship this all the way to the end. I'm just saying, it's a game. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't going to win the money, but y'all might as well enjoy the vacation in the time, okay? Just saying. So, Calvin tries to talk to her, and I'm just like, Calvin, you ain't talked to her this whole entire time. But now that the girl's picking, you want to you wanna talk to her. I, I don't know. So, Maura pulled Bennett aside to talk to him, and Kirsten is really his top pick. They had a little chit-chat. He said Maura is cool, but Kirsten is his top pick. But when he went to go talk to Kirsten about the recoupling, Kirsten was like, um, she don't know. There's no question she wants to ask him, and nothing will change her mind. She just spends a long time during the recoupling. Whatever. Anyways... So, basically, that was the end of the episode. It ended with Justine picking Caleb and more crying, okay? We had to wait, oh, how long? Like an hour later? Because a football game, I think. Like, what the hell? And ain't nobody watching no Big Brother. They know we was waiting on Love Island. I was like, Big Brother. Like, come on, CBS, quit playing with us. Ugh. And um, I have watched a few other interviews. Trey said he apologized for the tweets. Um... Rachel said that Caleb had broke up with his uh, his ex-girlfriend because of distance. So I don't know what that means for him and Justine because they do live in two different states. Um, Mackenzie said she wasn't selling. She wasn't buying nothing Johnny was selling. They didn't get along. She felt like all the boys thought she was the villain and they wanted to protect Connor. And the other thing is, I think her and Johnny didn't get along because they're both manipulators. So, y'all the same people? Of course y'all wasn't going to get along because y'all playing the same dirty game. That's why y'all didn't like each other. That's what I think. Anyways, y'all, 
Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts and tell me where the hell Noah is. <laughs> I love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Be good and good night, okay? Because I'm about to go night-night. I got to go to work in the morning. Bye, y'all.